If this is uh, your first time here, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on uh, your notification and give us the thumbs up. Hello everyone, uh, in this video we are going to see how we can exchange uh, data between two Omar PLCs. Uh, in uh, my case, I have a CP1L-M with an Ethernet module, the CP1WCIF41, and it says uh, the IP address is set to uh, 192.168.250.8 and on the other end uh, I have a CJ2M CPU31 and the IP address is at the default uh, it's just the default IP address uh, which is the 250.1 uh, now what we want to do here is we want to be able to basically uh, read this uh, data uh, from CP1LM and put it in these registers here in the CJ2M. And also we want to, from the CJ2M, we want to write back to the CP1 uh, from this register, D1M to D1 line, and we want to write that data uh, back to the CP1L in the same uh, area of memory. Uh, so we're gonna see how we can uh, do that. So the first thing we're going to double check that we can ping our PLCs. So I'm just going to type in the IP address of my CP1 in here, so 250.8. So as you can see here, I can ping it, so that's good. And I'm also, I'm going to see if I can ping my CJ2M, so I can ping it, so that's good. So the communication is all set, it's good. Uh, the second thing I want to do is start my CX programmer and I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to pick my CP1L and uh, ID for this M, which is good. So that's the one I have, cp one l m And I'm going to set up also the Ethernet connection so we can uh, be able to go online with the PLC download of the program. So that's eight, so that's good. Now, uh, what I want to do is because I have here, you know, this uh, data in different uh, registers, I want to consolidate all this data in one uh, area that's in sequence. So when I do the, uh, the read, so when the CJ wanted to read, you can grab all that data in one shot using one instruction uh, using the receive for instance which make the communication very very efficient so one way to do that is i'm going to show you here so i'm going to create a new contact here just on on and the function i want to use is the x um, F the log instruction. I want to tell it the number of words I want uh, to set to read, basically, or to transfer. So this is a transfer uh, instruction. So in the first one, I have had two words, CIO zero and one. So those two words in sequence. So that's good. So I'm going to specify here two words. So I'll say and two. So it's a decimal number, um, and then, uh, sorry, it's uh, not a uh, sign number, honestly. And then I will specify the source word, so that will be zero, C-I-N, all zero. And then I'm going to use uh, W0 as my first destination word. I can add some comments. I want, but I'm not at the meeting. So, and then the second thing I'm going to do is add another instruction in here, except for And this time I'm going to specify eight word, so the eight. And because I used uh, zero and one, the two words, I'm going to start from W2. And, uh, or sorry, my uh, source word is going to be 2000, 
and if I can type out the screen, 2011. And the destination is going to be W2 because I already, already used W0 and W1 for the, my first uh, two words in here. So that will uh, send eight words from uh, 2011 to uh, 2000, or oh, sorry, 2001 to 2008. So I have to go back here and just change that to 2004. There we go. And then the next one, same deal. So X of R. And I want to transfer this time four words. And we're going to start from 2011. And the destination is going to be W10. Because I already used eight words for the for this one from W2 to W1. Uh, so now we have all our uh, data basically concentrated from W0 to W13. So that will give us the 14 words we want to uh, we want the other PLC to read from, from us. So I'm going to go online with this PLC and download this program. And that's going to make this guy ready for the other PLC to read from it. So okay. Yes. Yes. So this PLC is, is ready, so I'll just minimize this for a second and start another CX uh, programmer instance and I'll create uh, another project here for my CJ2M. Again, same way I'll set up Ethernet setting, it's already ready for 250.1, so that's good. I just have to make sure here that I'm using CPU 31 because that's the CPU I'm using right now. I'll say OK. So to read that data from the other PLC, we're going to use, like we said here, the receive uh, instruction. So I'm going to use the 0 0.0.0.0. In my case, uh, this is just an output, but you can use any bit to basically trigger the read. And then we want to use the receive. Now the first source word, so that's the remote, that's from the remote. In our case, is W0. And then the destination, so that's the local node. So basically where we're going to put this data that once we read it from here, where do you want to put it in the CJ PLC? So I'll put it in the same area to keep it simple. And then this, the third word is the control word. So I'm going to use the H area. Now the reason I am using the H area in here, so when I do the setting, if we, you know, power uh, cycle cycle power uh, power to the to the PLC, uh, then we won't lose those settings. Another way to do it, uh, which maybe is more better is you can basically just use move instructions before the receive to send all the values you need to send for uh, this uh, control word. And there is actually uh, five words we have to set up. So we we'll start from H0 uh, to H4. Or you can use maybe the D0, which is also a retainable area. But if you use the W area in here, then you have to use the move instruction before, this, in the, before the receive instructions so you can dictate all the uh, the settings to those words. So if you lose power uh, or you re-download to the PLC, uh, then uh, the settings will automatically be in those words. So don't lose them. But if you use the page area, you have to at least once set up those uh, and that way they are retained in the PLC. So you don't have to uh, worry if uh, you download or your uh, second power. Unless, you know, in your program, maybe uh, another, uh, you know, another routine or something right into that same register, that's where you have to be careful about that. So, so probably it's, uh, you have to make sure that you're not uh, using uh, the same 
it just serves on the outside of the So that's just uh, between the brackets uh, to consider. So once we did this, we want to go over one. Let's say yes. And I'm going to download this program to my PLC. Say yes, yes. So let's download another program. Say okay and yes. So one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring the watch window so we can see the setting we need to do for this uh, control modes. And also I'll bring the help as well, which will help us set up those words. So as you see here, we have the remote node or the first word in the remote node, which is W0 in our case, and then we're putting the data in the same area with the W0 area, and then we're going to set up the control word. So the control word, as you see here, is five words. So I'm going to bring them here. So H0 to Sorry, I want the channel, so do that. So page zero, and bring the channel right there. And then page one, h two, h three, and h four. So those are the four we are interested uh, in. Uh, so the first one is uh, how many words we want to read from the other PLC. As you can see here, um, I was already playing with this, so I already have this uh, set. So the first word is um, uh, E, which is 14, because we want to read 14 words. And then the second word is this guy here. So uh, the first four digits is set to zero. And then uh, the second four digits from each 11 it's also zero because we're not using the zero port. And then the first byte here, we, are set, uh, we set that to zero because we're just in the local uh, network and uh, the two PLC are in the same network, so we left that to zero. The next word, which is this guy uh, here, we want to set up the node address of uh, the PLC we're trying to read the data from. So that's why we have here zero eight. And then the source unit is 00, zero because we're just reading uh, from the CPU. And then the next word uh, in here, we have the responses needed. So we'll set that to zero. And then we'll set the F, uh, this one here, the next four digits to F, because we'll just use automatic allocation. Or you can specify a port from zero to seven if you want. Uh, and then the next four digits is fixed to zero. And then the reset time, uh, I have it here to zero, but you could perhaps use the, like maybe three or four uh, for the returns. It's probably not a bad idea when you are in a real uh, application, a real world application. Uh, and then the next uh, word, we left it here to zero, which is default. And that will give us two seconds for the response time, or you can increase that uh, to maybe five seconds or uh, maybe 10 seconds. And let's say if we want to put here 10 seconds, then I would put this to uh, 64 hex, which is 100, which is 10 seconds because the unit here is 8.1. Uh, so those are, are the settings we need to do. And then to see uh, basically if we're going to uh, for reading the data from the other PLC. I'm going to put the two PLCs here so we can see what uh, we are reading. So I'll put here W0, W1, W2, W3, W4, W6, W7, W8. Now you could you know, make this as an array if you want. Uh, that's also I'll just uh, use it this way. So I'll just break the first 10 words and then those are reading okay, then it's, uh, it's, it's good as well. So I'm going to bring also here the watch uh, window as well. And 
make this here so we can see it. And then I'll bring here the W uh, or actually I should say the 0, 0, because in the CP1 0, 0.00 is an input, so I'll have to force it uh, to uh, be able to see it here. So I can put uh, 0, 0, 1, and then I can put 1, 0, 0, so we can see the other word. Zero. Actually, those are the two words we have, and then the other one we have 2001, zero, zero. Um, so we can force them. So I'm just going to force this, so we have a value uh, in there. So we have this to one, and then I'll bring here uh, W0 so we can see it. So that's my channel. Okay, so we can see here that's W0, it's 1 because I forced that to 1. And then uh, I forced this to 1 as well. Okay, and then if I bring here W1, I can see that's also uh, 1 as well. So in here right now, we can see that uh, this is 0 and this is also 0. So let's see if we can uh, read from PLC. So as you can see here, once I uh, enable that, uh, I can read my values. Right now it's one here and it's uh, one here as well. So that's basically how you can uh, read uh, the values. So if I go back here and uh, let's say uh, just add another value just to see, force it. So we force it here, and now we can see that we're reading a number five in here. Now again, if I execute this, I can see that we are reading five in W1. And then from here, uh, in the same way we did here, we can move these values to our, uh, we can move them to our uh, CIO areas that we have uh, in here. So to do that, so that's the next step. I'm just going to go five for seconds uh, in here. And then I'll just do the D underscore on. And, um, and then in the same way, I'm going to use the, the X transfer instruction. So I will transfer basically uh, two words. Now my source word is going to be W0. And I want to transfer that to, uh, if we see here, to 60, uh, to 60, uh, 10. So I guess, I guess these are not in uh, in sequence. So in that case, I'll just use simply, sorry about that, I'll just use simply a move instruction. So I want to move W0 to basically 1620. That's it. Then also in the same way, I'll do another move here of uh, W1. Sorry, in here I have to use uh, 1610. I believe that's what I have. 1610. And then in the same way, I'm going to move W1 to uh, 1620. Uh, so now we close uh, the loop from our PLC, from the, the registers that we're reading in there, which is CIO01, and we're read, uh, moving them to 16.10 and 16.20. Uh, and then in the same way, uh, we want also from 60.30, we're going to move uh, eight words. So in that case, we can use now the XFR uh, instruction. And I'll go W2, uh, which is our uh, 
you saw the number of uh, registers and one more is eight. And then we're going to start from W uh, two. Uh, and then that's my first source word. And then first destination uh, will be 1630. Uh, there we go. And then we're going to do the same thing here for the other the other ones, so we're going to start from W10, uh, or sorry, we need more four words, and we're going to start from W10, and then we're going to move them uh, to 6040, as you can see here, so we put 6040, and uh, we're done uh, in here for now, in our uh, back to the registers we want to uh, move them to. So once uh, we added all uh, data here, all map, so we can go line now with uh, our PLC and uh, we can download the new configuration. So let's go. So now we can uh, see here uh, our PLC. I'm just going to move this for a second. So basically, we want from CI0 to go to 1610, which is uh, W. Zero. So if I go here, this is uh, zero, 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 and then if I bring here sixteen ten, just to make sure. Right now this is zero, so I'm just going to force it to. It's already forced. Um, so let's. Here, so that is zero is six. So I'm gonna initiate uh, C. I like to see here is uh, it's let's go from CR zero to CR sixty ten and so on. And it's gonna be the same thing for all the other uh, ones we just now to. So now uh, that's how we can do the the read from the CPU one to the CJ. So now we're going to see how we're going to write from the CJ to to the CPU one in the area D zero to D one online. So to do that, I'm going to go back to my CJ here, and I'm going to add a rank in here. So I'll do zero zero one i, and then I'm going to use the send function uh, this time. So with the send uh, function, I'm going to say uh, basically I want to send the D0 and then I'm going to send it to again the same area D0 and I'm going to use H0 for my control. So I said OK. So the control is set the same uh, exactly the same way like the, the receive, so I don't have to change anything in there. So I'll go now online and then I'll do so the hit the online button and then I will transfer to the PLC. I'll say okay. yes. And it's transferring. And yes, so I will minimize this so we can see um, the areas at the same, same time. So I'll put here a D0, which is a channel. Um, I can put D1, uh, D2, all the way to uh, D, 
actually sorry. It's actually P1 Hindu, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, so well it doesn't uh, it doesn't really matter. So let's let's just change this one here to T0 and to T9 and we can call it P2. So it doesn't matter. So same same deal. So now uh, D0 to D10. Uh, now the only thing we have to do, I guess, in the control, because here we have 14 words and uh, D0 to D9, uh, so that's only 10 words, so we have to change this to 10. So we can only uh, basically write 10 words. Uh, or we can use a different uh, area for the descent. That's probably what you ended up doing it because you have different words to send and different words to, to uh, receive. So in such a case, uh, so I'll just use here 10. And uh, I'm just going to write here in my um, D0, D1, D2, and so forth. So I'll just write, uh, for example, a value of 10. And then value of 20, and then value of 30, so we can see these values uh, back in, in here. Right now, this is five, so I'm just going to zero all these values. There we go. And I'm going to send these values uh, to, to this guy. So I'll put one. Set. And as you can see here, I have here 10, and then I can go to this more. So it will be 10, 20, and 30. So that's how you can basically do a read using the receive instruction and the write using the send instruction between two Omron PLCs. Uh, and if you have here a CJ PLC instead of a CP1, for example, uh, the procedure is going to be uh, exactly the same, the same. If you made it this far, make sure you hit uh, that subscribe button, turn on uh, your notification and give us the thumbs up. And uh, again, thank you for watching.